Hi, I'm Route 94 and you're watching About to Blow. <laughs> <laughs> It's been it's been a case I'd say of, of like quality over quantity with your production so up to now. Have you found that there's been more pressure on you since since my love or is it not has it not really felt like that at all? Uh, a little bit, not really, I guess. Like after that people are, are definitely like expecting something from me. Um whether I live up to it or not, we'll see. But I think I can. But, um, yeah, the, the only the only thing about it is that people now expect something like exactly like that, and like as well when like people come to watch me play, a lot of the time, quite a lot of them, a lot of the time, <laughs> quite a lot of them are are there solely to see me play my love, and like that's not really what I'm about. But I suppose over time, people will sort of get to hear. Like what, what I'm about. Uh, obviously, a massive part of that track was the, the Jess doing vocal. Yeah. Have you got any more tracks, any collaborations with her in a pipeline or any other vocals? Um, not with her, but with someone else. But I can't say. It. <laughs> but hopefully, everyone will get to hear it soon. Uh, I was working on it earlier, and um, yeah, sounding sounding pretty great. But yeah, we'll we'll see. That's a, I can't I can't say anything about that one yet. And, and looking ahead to, to your next release, the, the, the Misunderstood EP, it's an absolute banger, um, much more techno driven obviously. Um, were you always looking to go in that direction? Um, I get, well, I guess I've, I've always made everything, so I've never, I've never, like, I've never sat there just made one thing like that. Like, to, keep, to make myself happy, I've got to, I've got to, like, experiment and make new stuff and, like, just make a whole, like, array of different things. But with, with that, I was, I've always been making sort of like dark and stuff, but it's, it's just like me feeling like the time is right to sort of go, yeah, I've got this as well. I didn't want to like straight off the bat, like put it out there because it would confuse people a bit. And after Secret Garden, what other events this summer, before the summer's out, are you really looking forward to? Um, Mm. It's hard to keep track. It's so hard to keep track. I'm tempted to look at my phone. I'm not going to look at I've got a thing uh, coming up in Ibiza and I'm, gonna, I'm doing an after party at Pikes, which I'm really excited about. That should be really good. Um, where else have I got UK World? Oh, a ceremony. Uh, for found, like found for the ceremony. I'm playing the main stage, that should be good. Uh, social festival, that's going to be wicked fun. I'm really excited about playing that. It's with like, the lineup's ridiculous for that. It's like, corona and things like that. Um, there's loads, man. I can't, I can't even think. Like, it's just, I've got too many. Did you find early on that you were like nervous doing sets like for big crowds? Was it all yeah, I, like, I used to have to have a few drinks before I played, like, like but like, Guess now, just playing so much, I'm just getting used to it. But yeah, I used to get fucking really nervous, but not anymore. I love it now. Can you tell? What can you tell us about about yourself that that might surprise people? Or people you know might not know about you. Um, I really like cooking, and I go fishing. Fishing. Yeah, I go fishing. How often is that? <laughs> I used to go when I was when I was really young with my granddad, but like I don't really get time to do it anymore. But it's just it's a nice thing to do. It's like oh, that's all, yeah, it's relaxing and tranquil. You can just escape from everything. Unless you take a wedge speaker and take your down there and just completely mess up. Route 94 about to blow fish special coming yeah. soon. <laughs> <laughs> the best set I've played so far. Like, it depends, like, in terms of, like, in terms of, like, a crowd, like, like, Mint Warehouse, or, like, 
sub club in Glasgow. Like in terms of like crowd wise, people going absolutely mad and loving it. But then in terms of like me liking how I played, um, fabric, fabric for a ring that was quite good. I really enjoyed that. But like I don't know, it's like. Like, there's two different sides to it. There's either like me feeling like I play really good or like the crowd go mad. So it's a hard one to sort of answer. Yeah. And um, yeah, finally, where would you ideally like to see yourself in 20 years' time? Um, alive. <laughs> <laughs>